Hi, welcome to the Retro Shed again. I'm Barry. This is Josh. Josh, what have you got there? I bet you five pounds that you have no idea from looking at this board what console this is. Old man. Mess with the old man. Five pounds? Mm -hmm. You want to bet me five pounds? Yep. Can I see the other side of that board? <sighs> Show me the other side. Oh, emotion engine, it's a PS2. Damn. It's five, quid. five quid, please. Okay. Can I have my five pound, please? Don't bet, don't ever have a bet with him because he doesn't have any money, he's not going to give you any. Actually, PlayStation 2, that is a PlayStation 2, that is a good tenuous link because today, today, we are looking at a classic game. One day, I'll say, we're looking at a completely non-classic game but today it's a classic game from Konami on the PS2. Didn't you say we were never touching on Konami again? I did say I did say that. Was yeah. that? It was a Salamander episode. Okay so I, I said, said, he said oh, I'm not I said we would never again. ever touch Konami again. But see, this is the thing. Today Konami holdings are nothing like the Konami of old. They are nothing now but a bunch of greedy corporate suits that skulk under the great name Konami. I wouldn't know a good video game if a Gradius cabinet crashed through their corporate HQ ceiling and landed in the CEO's lap. Now, they are more interested today in issuing yes. copyright notices to YouTubers who dare take a look back at their catalogue of yes. wonderful games such as Gradius, Metal Gear, Castlevania, Silent Hill, Frogger, Scramble. Konami Holdings is actually a front for over 16 corporate entities that cover Japan, Australia, America, Europe and Asia. They haven't released a good game in years. <sighs> Are you okay? Do you want to take a breath? No. Just quickly? No. Okay. No. Do you feel better now that you've got that off your chest? <laughs> I do feel better now I've had that little <laughs> rant. Yes, thank you. So, after that emotional outburst, I take it we are looking at a Konami game today? We are looking at a Konami game today, so Konami, sue me. But we are going to look at an absolute corker today on the PS2. What's an absolute corker? An absolute corker is an absolutely brilliant game. What, like a piece of wood that goes in a bottle? Yes. Today on the PS2, and that wonderful game is Gradius V, or Gradius Five. Five. Yes, in Roman numerals. Oh, I forget that. And that was released in 2004. The year I was before I was born. It was. Now, Gradius Five was actually mostly developed by Treasure, which yeah. I've never heard of. Yeah, good Who for worked me. on other fabulous shooters such as Radiant, Silver Gun, and Ikaruga. Ikaruga, yeah. Which I've also never heard of. <laughs> which are two very much loved and expensive retro shooters developed for Sega Saturn and Dreamcast console. But Radiant Silver Gun and Ikaruga are very, very good high value shooters for Sega consoles. They are superb. Can't say that I've. Yeah. No, we've never looked at them. We'll I've have never to even look heard at them. of them. No, they are good though. Um, they were bigger in Japan than they were over here. Obviously, so, I Gradius guess. 5, I nearly said Gradius V. Gradius 5 is an excellent addition to my favourite shooter series of all time, and it plays like a dream, although it is a little mm. bit silly on the difficulty stakes. Mm. It is very tough. It's so tough, in fact, that the hitbox area on the Vic Viper ship has been reduced. And in <laughs> English, that means that collision detection is somewhat looser than the size of your ship, which is a good job really because it means you yes. avoid getting hit easier. Yes, unlike previous great new games of the past, when you die you reappear almost instantly yeah. <laughs> and continue playing without having to start at the beginning of the level again. Which is very the annoying. The last time we saw this was in the arcade version of Salamander. Yes, there's nothing like building up your ship and you've got all your weapons yes, 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 and yes, you get bang. killed and you get started at the beginning of the level with absolutely nothing. Actually, there's a really good point there. In the gameplay, you would die. I'd be like, "Yeah, I know what you're <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grab Dad's yeah. weapons before you yeah, can grab them. Yeah, just... Your weapons do stay there. 
So when you spawn back in, they're still there. So Dad thought to be like, ha, grab them and then... <laughs> works both ways. It works, it works yeah. both ways. The game features the usual but newly designed weapons with customizable Vic Vipers. You can choose from different weapon arrays at the beginning and choosing the way that those weapons actually function. And of course, choosing the correct weapons and arrays means the difference between success and failure. So it's the year 8010 and the piece of planet Gradius has Yes, again, been invaded by the pesky bacterians. <laughs> it's always the bacterians. Great name! <laughs> Who have assembled even bigger and more impossible end of level baddies to kill. Yes. Now, I've always wondered why the baddie ships get bigger with bigger weapons while the goodies are the same little itty bitty little ships. Yes. Why don't they learn and make bigger ships yes. to fight these people with? It's and give them their weapons! Absolutely, that's what I could never understand about Star Trek. Every time the Enterprise goes out, it gets into a fight. It gets utterly pummeled till there's nothing left of it. So why don't they just build a tougher Enterprise with bigger weapons and bigger shields? Anyway, we digress. It's a good point. But to be honest, the way humans are going, I don't think we'll be around in the year 8010 anyway. Because so the bacteria would have killed us. Well, no, I think the politicians would have killed us long before then. So the game began development in January 2003 and was a joint effort by Konami and Treasure. This was after the game's producer, Yasushi <laughs> Takano, said the Gradius games were getting a lot tired and stagnant. Now, this game does in fact feel a lot fresher than previous games around mm. Gradius and is a joy to play. Although so it is. Can't we say it's a joy? It's a joy, it's very hard. If you have epilepsy, then it's definitely not a joy. Absolutely. Um, there were actually plans to release a video arcade machine at the time as the PS2 release, but this never happened due to the time constraints, as well as the fact that by 2004, many arcades were seeing huge profit losses mm. due to the power of the home consoles of the day. Yeah. People literally stopped going to video arcades, which is sad. That's really sad, considering yeah. today everybody wants to go to video arcades. And well, you've got have those they, money machines. Do you know what they should have done? Yeah. It's just close the arcades for a few years and said, we'll reopen in 2015. And everyone just stood outside <laughs> the gates waiting for yeah. three years. <laughs> Now, although released in 2004 on the PlayStation 2, 2004 was actually quite late in the Five PS2's years. life. Yeah, it was made in nine, released in 1999. 1999 yeah. Now, the game does feel distinctly old school and is absolutely brilliant to play. So, if you yes, are yeah. a fan of Gradius, you need to have a look at this because it's a great game. Now, Konami, are you listening to me? I'm telling people it's a great game and they need to go out and buy it. So, we're going to take a look at Gradius 5 now and it's my copy I went out and bought it so there's no need to sue me or file a copyright violation okay chaps Shh. I had to get that off of my chest do you honestly think anyone from Kamalami watches this stuff anyway Let's no watch. here's Gradius oh, they hate us. here's a look at Gradius 5 <laughs> right we are playing uh, Gradius of Five, Gradius oh. Five, on the PS2. I'm the blue ship, and Josh is the red one. So we've had we've had a bit of practice. No, you're rubbish. Basically, I'm not. Basically. I don't think you can say I'm. Well, no, I'm not brilliant. Ah! I swear that thing could stop stealing my power ups. So, first impressions. It's, it's very confusing. Get that power up if you want it. There is a lot going on, isn't there? <laughs> there is an awful lot going on. Whoa. Nearly got it. Mine. Oh, well, I swear to God. You go first. I ain't go first. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you go through What chaos. happened to you? I just went, eow, through that. Okay. Right, you no. get the power-ups at the bottom. Yeah. Right, concentrate your fire. That's it. So, yeah, first impressions, Josh. It's nice. Do you like it? Yeah. It's very old school, isn't it? That's mine. I really like this. It was criticised heavily for being too difficult. too difficult, and I think in places it, it does get very, yeah. very silly. 
You've got no chance of killing some of the end of level bosses unless you sacrifice a life. <laughs> Ooh. I've suddenly realised I'm not going to kill him. <laughs> Jesus, what is he? He's just... This is just mad. It's madness. Madness, you hear me? No. Sparta! Bang! What are you talking about? Have you not seen that movie? Sparta? Yeah. No. This. Is it Sparta? Is Sparta! Is it called Sparta? Oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> get the power, get the power. Where is it? I got it. Ugh. It's fair to say there's a lot going on. No, really? There is a fair bit going on. Ugh. Focus your fire and we'll get through it. <laughs> See? Hey. I see, I hate them when they come through. Uh, I keep uh, see. I keep on thinking they're gonna kill me. Yeah, because they're background things. Mm. <gasps> oh, damn! I don't have any good weapons at right, all. Right, take out the gun turrets that he's got. I'll show you. See those things around the edges? Those blocks around the edges. Go to the bottom. That's it. Take these out as fast as possible. Those things. Oh, I have double. That means I can shoot backwards now. I've done, done the bottom, I've done those. I'm trying to do this bottom one down, I need help with this bottom one. Hang on, hang on, I'm trying to do the top one. <laughs> oh, you... Damn! Got it. Oh, no, he's going to start spinning now, isn't he? I can't help here because I don't have double. Oh, yeah, you have double, you can, you can help. Hold well, that, quick, 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 quick. Oh, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Another. Damn! It's fair to say that the end of level boss oh. has got a lot tougher than it was. Go, 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 go. Nice one. Bigger end of level bosses, aren't they? He could say that. The graphics are gorgeous, actually. And this was toward the end of the PS2's life. So at that point in the PS2's life, they really knew how to make it sing and dance. So it does look nice. Right, I'll shoot a load for you. If I destroy them, you pick them up. Watch your backs. I need a speed up, actually. Oh, you... God, where did he come from? Oh. What is this? Book? So, we well, read it, kid. <laughs> this is space time anomaly for me. Oh yeah. Now, if you suffer from uh, epilepsy, look away. Look away now. <laughs> I don't suffer from epilepsy. This is Nice graphics, aren't they? Nice visuals. Why are you getting those blue laser-like things from? That's my options. You can uh, you can change the angle of attack on them. Oh. Uh, I think you press R1. I think you press R1 and rotate your control. No. Oh yes. Guy. I could really do with a shield right now, actually. Uh. Ha! Now I have weapons and you don't! <laughs> right, you go first then. Oh, God. Because I'm knackered. Give me some. If you blast away, give me some weapons, will you? Okay. Otherwise, you ain't gonna make it through. <laughs> <sighs> I need 
I'm just gonna um Just blur through <laughs> it for me. Oh get him in the eye. Nice. Watch it, I think another one comes from behind, I'm not sure. Get down in that alcove if you can. Right, get in the eye. Going up this tunnel now. Okay. I'll get the one blind. <laughs> and that one. Ugh. Get them before they release those spikes. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh my god. Get him, get him, get him, quick! I'm trying! <laughs> He opens his eyes, so just shoot him in the eye. Okay, we're getting out of here. It's a trap! How difficult was that? That's pretty tricky, isn't it, really? Right, weapon stage, I think. No, it's weapon, not, is weapon it? Weapon stage? Yes. What's weapon stage? Power up your weapons, quick. Oh. Got him. That wasn't very fair, was it? Is that the boss? Power up time. What? The oh, yeah, okay, because that's fair, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Just try the core, Josh. Yeah, I'm trying to get the core. <laughs> <laughs> you and your big mouth, Josh. Wait until he stops firing. Oh, we got him. Weapons time. Weapons time. Give me weapons, like right now. What the? This better not be boss. Do you know what? They're getting desperate now, aren't they? They're throwing boss after boss after boss at us. Jeez, a cool, because that's fair, isn't it? <laughs> Right, I can see this is going to take us a bit of time. Bottom one really dead. Yes, got the bomb. Got the one. <laughs> I sacrificed myself to kill him. Did you see that? No. Why don't we just fly into him? I'm going to. Next time you get killed. Ah! Like this. Right, go for him. Yes. <laughs> what did you do? I flew straight into him. Weapon side. Let me have some. Have some. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> I don't see why they don't just give the, our ships these weapons. I think it's fair to say that the planet Gradius is screwed. <laughs> kill it! Kill it now! Ah! Oh look, we've destroyed one core. Three more to go. Didn't we do well? Oh, 
Oh, we've destroyed two cores. Two more to go. Ah, go away. Didn't we do well? Camp in this corner. Right, one core left to get. Oh, what's he doing? Oh. I'm going to go right into the heart of it. <gasps> nice. I killed myself, Josh, for you then. Did you see that? Uh -huh. Sacrificed myself. How difficult was that? If there's boss number five, I walk out the shed. Right, so, what did you think of the game? <laughs> did you like it? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? It's a good a bit game. Unfair. It's very tough. It's unfair. It's tough, isn't it? I swear, wait, I wish that god would shut up. Shh. Oh, shh. What is that? Petrol powered model cars make the most annoying sound in the world. Guys, I think it's a lawnmower. It's not a lawnmower. It's next door with his petrol car. Cool. It sounds like a wasp on steroids. <laughs> That noise, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that noise you can hear. Only just. Yes, that noise right there. <laughs> this shed's not very good sound. It's a petrol powered model car. Anyway. Which I'm on. going to put a hammer through in a moment. But back to the. Moving on. Right, the game. What did you think of Gradius well, 5? I didn't really like it because it was just too unfair. You're like, right, end level boss. What? 40,000 lasers coming at you. And there was and, more than one end of level and boss. And you know what, you feel like just doing this. You see the boss, you're like... No. Okay, <laughs> There's so, no point. <laughs> Alright then, I'll pick it up then. Yeah. So, Gradius 5 to me is a superb end to the series of games. I started playing Gradius when I was probably about 10 or 11. And it's always been one of my favourite series of shooters. A bit like R-Type. I love, I love horizontal shooters no but I love horizontal shooters don't I um, yeah, do. I, I always have and I think this war this is absolutely brilliant it's very very hard mm -hmm. I think Treasure and Konami together make a great team did a brilliant job and it's just yeah. such a shame it's that a shame Konami it's going to come out like that again though isn't it yeah it's a shame that Konami don't make great games anymore I don't know what Konami do now but they certainly don't make great well I do I'm not going there again they don't make great games anymore and they were once when I was a kid a great my favourite at Games House, that if Konami released a game, you'd buy it. You'd buy, I'd buy it. Yeah, they yeah. were just superb. So there you go. All I can say to wrap up is, go and buy a copy of Gradius Five. Don't buy a petrol-powered car when your son is doing a video. No, and not unless you buy Big Hammer to go with it. Because that's what I feel like doing, actually. So thank you very much for watching us, as usual. Yes. Um, if you want to support us, that would be great. We're on Patreon. The link there is below. Um, we have now a Facebook group page. Uh, that's doing really well, actually. Um, there's loads of people on there talking about all things retro, from cans of pop to, to movies to God knows what. So if you're a fan of anything 80s and you want to just start a conversation, get, on get onto our group on Facebook. There's a link to that as well. Thank you very much for watching and uh see you later we will see you next time bye. so take care bye bye bye, bye. bye. wow that really hurts every time i do that right what do you think <clears throat> I think, don't slay me here, I think it's kind of an autistic game to be honest because hear me out autistic hear me out right autistic kids love this kind of thing explosions bangs absolute madness absolute mayhem and that that was that it was mad you couldn't see what you were doing lasers every explosions i thought that sort of thing freaks autistic children out what? i thought they're like peace and calmness and Clearly, Bowser doesn't know what autistic means. Now, um. I do, I I've got to leave with you. <laughs>